All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with our post-race availabilities from today's NASCAR Xfinity Series race. We're joined by our second and third place finishers, Kyle Larson and Ty Gibbs. Thank you both for joining us. Um, and we will go ahead and open for questions. If you have a question for Kyle or Ty, go ahead and raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you, and we'll get started up front with Zach. Zach Sterniello, NASCAR.com. Ty, um, racing, trying to catch, uh, keep pace with, uh, on your right, Ty, um, trying to keep pace with SVG there in the closing stages. Was there anything you could have done to get by the two quicker um, to give yourself a better shot? Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I definitely should have been more aggressive and probably got got about around him quicker. Starting on that top lane, you know, in the 12 on the alt, the, the restart zone, it's just really dirty up there. So you lose so much time, then you get in the one behind, and, and, and so you're already behind. So I guess, I think our best bet was just to not have our gun blow up on the pit stop. And I'd eat, fight my, I feel like I'd use myself up a lot to get back through the field. And I, don't, I just don't think that helped our tires. We were really loose, so... Um, I'd say yes, but it would have been close for sure at the end. You had gotten by Jesse sooner. Do you think you had enough to hold off Shane? I maybe. I just think that he. I think we were going to get by the two so fast, anyways, that I think it wasn't going to be you know really a, a, a race at that point. And lastly, Kyle, um, you were racing Shane a lot there that first stage, and he gives you the thumbs up after that too. Um, it seemed like you guys were having a lot of fun out there. Um, what it, it was great for us to watch. What was it like out uh, racing him? Yeah, no, it was. I was having a blast. You know, I, I felt like, you know, obviously I wanted to win today, but I wanted to learn more than anything, and um, I wanted to get to to battle with him. You know, because he's just really good at creating shapes and angles and passing and um yeah that was an objective of mine and I wanted to the first opportunity I got I wanted to get racing because I just didn't know if you'd ever have another opportunity to race with him so my car seemed to be a little bit better than his for maybe a lap or two which helped me you know get by him and then you know able to protect and stuff but he was so much better than me he was just being patient and and playing with me I think so um but it was it was good fun and, and probably made for great tv and um, yeah, the whole race was really exciting, I thought. All right, we'll go to Cole. Cole Kusumana, Arizona Republic. Kyle, it sounded like that turn five was a bit of a challenge for you today. I'm curious if that was also a challenge for you in practice and qualifying in the Cup Series, and if you um, maybe learned something from Shane or some of the other guys uh, that can help you for tomorrow. Um, no, my car actually off of five um, in Cup felt really good there, uh, much smoother, and I could get, you know, to the throttle much better and and then through like turn nine all the way to 11 um, I had much better kind of lateral grip in those areas um, where my Xfinity car today felt a lot like my cup car did last year you know I was I struggled off of five just bouncing and couldn't accelerate couldn't go through turn nine with any speed and then like I said that carries all the way to 11 so um, no my cup car feels um, much more, I think, like competitively uh, equal, I would say, to, to be able to battle him um, in more corners or, or hopefully hold him off better. But we keep, like I said, it's, it's not just him, you know, so there's going to be a lot of other guys that uh, are really good tomorrow. All right, I think we have a question in the back, please. Uh, Kyle, that battle in stage one, um, or, sorry, Samuel Stubbs, yardworker.com, getting out of myself. That battle with SBG in stage one, um, you, you know, you mentioned it. It was really cool to watch. You're starting on the pole tomorrow. He's starting fifth. I know it's not just him, but, but hypothetically, if you're in a late race scenario where it is you and him going for the lead, going for the win late, is there anything that you think you learned about the way he drives, the way he approaches corners, how hard he drives into corners that you can use in a scenario tomorrow uh, to use to your advantage? Um, I don't know. Um, I, I feel, I feel really good in breaking zones. Um, you know, I felt like he wasn't beating me anywhere there. I, I really just feel like, you know, the areas he was beating me in were off of five a lot. And then, like I said, through nine to 11. So I think that'll be a 
different story tomorrow. Um, like I said, my car feels uh, much better in those areas. But um, no, I think just just racing and like I said, kind of creating angles and shapes, reshaping your corners, um, getting leverage and position. You know, I was able to get some experience doing that today. So whether it's him or anybody else, hopefully, you know, battling, um, you know, I, I feel I'll be more confident to pull moves tomorrow. But um, yeah, I don't know. He's just he's just really good, and he's like he's. He doesn't ever touch anybody to get by them, and that's rare to see. So it's it's fun racing with a guy like that, and and kind of seeing it out your windshield too as he's picking his way to the front is pretty neat. All right, go ahead. Steven Sunfrontiers.com. Kyle, you mentioned how much you just wanted to race SVG. How fun those first you know first stage, first half of the race was with you two up front. Um, and wanting to race him and kind of, you know, get that familiarity was, did you make some moves kind of out front going for the lead that you may not necessarily have made had it been anyone else out there? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough saying. But, um, no, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I would have, you know, he's so good and his car was so good that, you know, I would make moves and pass him and then he'd just pass me back. Where I think others, you know, I could probably pass people and maybe besides Ty, I thought Ty was really good as well. I thought we were pretty evenly matched, but anybody else, like if you were passing, they probably weren't going to pass you back. So, um, but no, it's, it was, it was just fun, you know, trying to be aggressive. All right. We're going to go to Matt and then Dustin, go ahead, Matt. Matt Weaver, sports nod for both of you guys. I know on the cup side, both of y'all's teams don't get suckered into bulletin board material or giving bulletin board material. But is there a part of you and your teams that sees all the headlines about SVG, 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 and then SVG wins again today? That is there some part of you in the back of your minds that's like, we really want to shut up that narrative on Sunday? Um, I don't really look at the news, I feel like, a whole lot. So I don't really, to be honest, really see it. Um, you know, I think that there's some people we, ha we have access to study to on SMT and stuff like that that helps for sure. But I don't really, I don't really pay attention a whole lot to the news, so I don't really get to see it. But I mean, he's very, very fast, and um, you know, deserves a lot of, a lot of credit. No, I mean, for me, I don't, I don't view it that way at all. Like I, I look at it as a great opportunity. Like we all recognize that he's the best <laughs> on a road course as well. So, um, no, I think, you know, I, I, I appreciate the opportunity to, to learn, like in race with him. So, no, I mean, whether he's winning or not, I feel like. Um, you know, he's helping us all get better, um, which is pretty, pretty cool. All right, Dustin. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Ty, um, since you were running, I think, third at the time, when, when SVG passed Jesse Love to take the lead, um, it, you know, he was on the outside in six, and Jesse kept him up high, but then SVG went in and made the move on the inside of seven. That, correct me if I'm wrong, that doesn't typically seem like a, much of a passing zone, and I can't recall too many people making moves there. What did you see from your perspective on that? Because that seemed like, I think, Kyle, kind of what you're talking about is, is a move and the shaping and the crafting of a corner that we haven't seen as much here. Yeah, he just seemed like he set him up really well, um, getting into six and had him pointed a whole different direction. And then he could cross him back over quickly and jump inside and, and get his nose far out enough to where Love's going to have to lift because at that point it doesn't make sense for him to run in the corner next to him. Um, so it seems like he just did a really good job setting them up. Um, I was a little bit too far behind, but I, I could kind of see – I didn't see, like, the entry of six, but I could kind of see them, you know, just – like Jesse was kind of crowding the right half of the road into seven – um in svg you know he he left a lane it looked like to the right and, and he plugged the hole um so i actually think that turn seven's a, a good you know passing corner because you can it's a little bit of an odd breaking zone you know it's downhill and a little bit rough so you know if you can exit six okay you can you can make passes there but yeah he's obviously going to be more confident doing that than than most no opposer north <laughs> northwestern uh, Ty, Kyle, both of you guys had to fight your way back from the back of the pack. Ty, for the pick on issue, Kyle with the strategy call. How difficult was it compared to your expectations going into the race? You obviously both made your way through the pack. How difficult was it getting there compared to what you were 
initially thought it would be like? Um, I feel like I used my stuff up a good bit, that, and it didn't really help me on the long run. Um, and I just got so loose. I, I feel like I was hanging on a good bit, but we had the cautions, which helped a lot and, and got us to really cool my stuff back down and, and go back at it. But um, definitely, you know, somewhat hard to pass, especially when you got guys in front of you throwing haymakers in the corner that checks you up and you have to block the guys behind you coming. So it's a lot going on. Um, but once we got stretched out, I felt really good. I feel like I could get by most of the guys in front of me. Yeah, and then for me, I mean, I thought I thought I was able to do a really good job the first, you know, three laps or so and passed quite a bit. I felt like I actually, you know, got through it quicker than SVG did. Um, but then once it kind of singled out, I was just uh, – I was just – back to, you know, where I couldn't exit turn five very well. So then I'm, you know, losing a passing zone, you know, an opportunity to pass into six. And then, yeah, you know, I was, my, my best kind of opportunity it seemed like to pass once it got strung out was getting a good run off of one and, and shortcutting turn two. But it was fun. It was, it was pretty cool getting through there. But just, I was getting ready to stall out kind of probably in seventh or so just, you know, because I couldn't exit turn five like I needed to. Uh, it always is, no matter what race. <laughs> yeah. All right. In closing, <clears throat> I'm going to ask you guys a question from Bob. He wasn't able to make it back up here just yet. So um, is there anything that you would recommend to be done um, for the race tomorrow? And if so, what would that be? Of course. I don't think so. I mean, I, I feel like the banners are kind of a mess because <laughs> yeah. people drag the fence and they're I would just say don't, on the straightaway. Yeah, don't restick banners, maybe. But sponsors probably want the. That's want it true. On there. And I think the some of the banners they put up this morning hurt the spotters' view on the around the fountain corner. That's the only thing I I have seen that are that's kind of. I would just get us like the, the I don't know. I think they're decals on the wall, but like they were peeling up, you know, a lot during practice, and like they're big pieces that could cover the grill. Um, so that would be unfortunate if you had a decal come off of the wall and end up on the nose of your car. So, yeah, I would uh, not put any more decals on the wall. But other than that, it's great. Other than that, I mean, I have no issue with walls or anything. I, I think the track's great. I, I think it's it's a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, thank you guys both. I know with running double duty, you made multiple trips to Media Center today. So thank you both for doing that. We wish you the best of luck tomorrow.